Hello again everybody, Mr. Dingle here. Welcome to this tutorial for pinball in Unity. So for the next three videos, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really basic pinball machine in Unity. Okay, just using some really basic scripts and some resources that I'm going to give you. Okay, and what I'll do is just quickly show you what the final result. This is basically going to be it. Okay, nothing complex about it. We've got the two flippers, we've just got some objects to collide with. We've got some bouncers, and we've got a spring pool. Now this thing down here is an out of bounds, that just detects if the ball's fallen through the bottom, don't worry about him, you don't see him. So let's just have a quick look at how it plays. I can use up, down, left and right, start him off. Okay, so you can see the flippers work for the left and right keys, and the bouncers work as well. So it's a fairly straightforward game and it's up to you how you want to make the level but for the moment I'm going to take you through this tutorial so I'm going to close this to start with you need to make sure that you have downloaded this zip file this pinball.zip okay that should be on Dingo Tech it should be with the video okay and inside that it's got all the files the folder and all the files you're going to use to start with it's got the scripts it's got some materials okay and we need to get this out of the zip file so we can't just use it like this, we have to get it outside of the zip file. And if you've never used zip files before, the easiest way to do that is just to click and drag it outside of the zip. Okay. And there we go. So we've just extracted that folder from the zip, so we can close this. You can even delete the zip file if you'd like, but I'm going to leave it there for the moment. And there's all our files ready to go. So, alright, let's get cracking. So let's open up Unity. And let's open up that project folder. Okay, so we go to File, we go Open Project, okay, Open Other, and go and find that folder you've just extracted. So mine is on the desktop, there it is there. So select folder and let Unity open up the project. Okay, when it starts up, we'll have nothing. So there you go, we have absolutely nothing in our scene. Okay, and we're ready to start creating our own thing. So, in our assets, I've given you a few things. Now, firstly, in the scenes, this is what we have open at the moment. You'll notice it's called pinball.unity. And if I have a look at the top bar, it tells me I've got pinball.unity open. So, I don't need to worry about opening this up or whatever like that. It's already done for us. In our assets, though, I've given you materials, physics materials, and scripts. If I open up materials, you'll just see their colors. Okay? So one of them's shiny, one of them's black, one of them's blue. That's all. Okay, moving along, we've got physics materials. You'll see it's called physics bouncy, or physics material bouncy. All I've done is I've made this so the ball's a tiny bit bouncy when it hits certain objects. You can even up the bounciness if you'd like. It's up to you. I'm still fiddling with mine. And down here we've got a scripts folder. Now these four scripts are going to control our different objects in the game. So uh, like a gameplay basically. We've got a pull spring to start the ball off. We've got a paddle controller. So for the left and right click. We've got an out of bounds object. So when the ball leaves the board it'll restart. And we've got a bounce object. Those little cylinders you saw that shoot the ball off. Alright. So we're going to use all those throughout these next three videos. Alright. But let's get started. We're going to start with just uh, making the pinball board and the boundary and then the ball today. And then the next video we'll move on to the other things, the flippers and more than that. So the flippers in the spring. So first of all, let's create the plane, which is going to be the backdrop of our pinball machine. Now it might be really, really tempting. So let's create this plane first before I say this. Go game object, create other plane. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just quickly resize this so it's a bit bigger. A bit more. Not bad. Now, it might be really, really tempting because a pinball is always on an angle. Okay. Might be tempting to rotate this up, but then what's going to happen there is every single object that we add to our pinball table, we're going to have to get on the exact same angle, and it's going to be very, very difficult. So what I'm going to do is undo that. I'm going to leave him flat, okay, so with no rotation at all. And I'm going to quickly move his y-axis to zero, okay, and there's a reason for that. 
Okay, so make sure you set this y-axis to zero. You can set the others to zero as well if you'd like. Okay, it just makes your life a lot easier if it's at zero, zero, zero. All right. And we're going to add the blue material to them. So what we do for materials is you jump to your materials folder in the bottom left. Find the blue one. And you simply drag it on top of the plane. So click and drag. That's it. That's how you apply your blue material. And let's create the ball. Okay, probably the most important bit of the game. So for this one, we're just going to use a sphere. It's as simple as game object, other, sphere. Alright, we've got our sphere, we've got our ball. Now firstly, I'm going to resize this ball because it's way too big in my opinion. I use the values for X, Y, and Z. I'm going to leave them all the same, but they're going to be dot .7, seven, dot seven, dot seven. And it just makes it a bit nicer. The ball doesn't look as big. It looks a bit more realistic to me. You could even make it smaller if you wanted, or larger. It's up to you, depending on the size of your plane. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is change the Y value of this sphere. Now, I could set it to zero, but there's a little bit of an issue there. You'll see that it's half in the plane. So if you change the Y value to 0.35, then it's perfectly above it. It's just sitting on top, okay, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to do a few things to this ball before we go much further than this. First of all, we're going to add a rigid body because, as in the previous tutorials I told, if you don't have a rigid body, there's no physics on the object. So let's quickly add a component. Let's go physics, rigid body. All right. And then let's add the material finally before we start changing any settings. So find the ball material and click and drag that on top. And there you go. So it's a bit shinier. It's a bit nicer. You could even edit that if you'd like as well. Up to you. Now there's a couple of settings on the right hand in the inspector that we need to change for this ball. Now the first one that we need to change down here in the rigid body, we're not going to change the mass of the ball. Okay, it's going to stay at one. We're going to use gravity. We want it to move around. We're going to change the collision detection. Now we can't use discrete. Discrete is for objects that sort of sit still for the most part, or move very slowly. Because the ball's going to be moving quickly, and it's going to be running into ob other objects which are moving quicker, we're going to have to change this collision detection, because discrete is too slow and inaccurate. Okay, we're going to change this to another one called continuous dynamic. So it means the object is checked a lot more often for collisions, and is a lot more accurate. Okay, so for the moment we're going to leave that as continuous dynamic. And now we don't want the ball, there's, two, there's three directions an object can move. It can move left and right, up and down, and forward and back. We don't want this ball to ever move up and down. Okay, because then it might accidentally, you know, bounce out of the, pool, the pinball table and we can't detect where it's gone. So what we can do is we can actually tick this Y freeze position. And what that means is it means the physics engine will never make the ball jump up or down for that matter. Okay, it can only move it left and right and back and forth. So on the X and the Z. Alright, and that is the ball complete. Okay, if we press play now, well, we're not going to be able to see much, let's move the camera. Oh, there we are. Pretty boring. First of all, it's dull, so we need to add a light. There's no boundaries. So let's fix those two things now. Okay, so let's go to game object create other, and create a directional light. Now that's it, that's all we need to do for the light, and I'm just going to go and put him somewhere else. I don't care where he is, directional light, they work. They just do. Okay, and the next thing is we need to create some boundaries. Now we're only going to do the sides and the top. Now the reason for that is because we don't want the bottom one cut, we don't want to lock the ball in. The ball needs to fall out of the bottom so we can detect that they need to restart. So this is pretty easy. All we're going to do for the boundary is we're going to go game object, other, cube. All right. For the Y axis on this before we begin, put 0.5 and it will sit just on top of the plane. And we're going to resize this baby. Okay. I'm just going to resize him right up the side. Don't be too accurate. It's not going to kill you to have a little bit of a overhang. Okay. Alright, and that's our first boundary done. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this with Control-D. 
Okay, so control D. You can see I've got two cubes now. I'll move them over to the other side. Okay, so left side done. Duplicate it one more time. And this one is going to be our top piece. So I'm going to rotate him. Okay, and then I'm going to move him up. Zoom in a little bit for a tiny bit of accuracy. Let's move him over. He's got a little bit of a gap there. And I'm going to resize him. So it fits exactly in there. So there we go. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to move my camera into place so it looks a bit more like a pinball. So right now, this looks like I'm playing pool or something like that. Let's change this. Move him up and back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate him downwards so it's as if we're looking down on a pool table. Okay, and bring him forward a tiny bit. It's probably not perfect, but for a start, that's really good. So if I press play now, we've got a boundary, it's all lit up. Okay, it looks pretty nice. The last issue is the ball's not moving anywhere. Realistically on a pool table, this ball should be coming at me right now. Okay, and you would expect that. Okay, a ball should be coming flying towards you. So what we're going to do in, at the start of the lesson, I said we shouldn't tilt the plane. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fake it. We're actually going to add a bit of gravity so it pulls the ball this way. So it looks like the ball is on an angle and it looks like it's falling. Okay, it's really easy to do actually. So if you go up to your edit, you go to project settings, and then you go to physics. You'll notice there's three different types of gravity. There's X, there's Y, and there's Z. Okay, what we're going to do there is we're just going to change the Z to minus 10. And that's going to pull the ball towards the camera. Okay, so let's press play. That's what we want. That's exactly it. The ball is coming towards us. We have to fight it off with the flippers. All right, so that's it for this lesson. For the next one, we're going to create the flippers and we're going to create the pull spring to start the ball off. All right, good luck, everyone.